Hey, what's up, everyone? I did a modification on the Hobby King T45 Goshawk that comes with fixed gear, and I want to show you what I did. So I took some uh, regular retracts, as you can see here. They're nothing special. They're just regular electric retracts. Um, I painted them white. They were metal. I painted them white to give them that more realistic look, you know, since in the Navy plane and whatnot, painted the hubs. So here's what I did. It came stock with this control system that I thought was pretty lame. And it's that one linkage system with the two hookups right here. Well, in China that might work. In reality, that's not going to work. So I just did what you normally do, and I took any old regular 9 gram Hobby King Servo I had laying around, and I put them in one per aileron in the center, uh, you know, just outside where the wheel comes in, <clears throat> and that's going to work out fine. That's going to be much more efficient, because this is a, this hinge right here, you know, moving it right here is like real sloppy. It's not uniform down the whole hinge. It will work, but this is much better. It will work better, last longer. Just a little modification takes a little bit of time. So I cut in, you know, used a, a, uh, a box cutting knife, hobby knife, whatever, and uh, cut some, a groove in there so you can see that it is flush. And when I get done, I'll tape it and I'll paint it so you won't see the wires. I'll paint it with white paint. And the paint I'm using is nothing special. It's just regular old hobby uh, testers model paint. So. It works fine on this. Uh, what up? So that's what I did here with the landing gear. I put them, you know, relatively, you can see, not ex they had to work and close and fit in a certain way, so it's pretty easy to fit in. But I used the space that they provided for a general area. On this, I didn't do anything special. I, I did paint the front strut white. Here's how I put in the... Uh, the strut. I just glued in some some wood struts in there and you know made little cross members and then just screwed this right to it. Pretty simple and straightforward. There's lots of room in there. Um, I ran my little servo wire inside the hole, taped it in here with duct tape. It's just hanging in here waiting for the next thing which is be the motor which I don't have yet. And uh, let's see, I left this stock. Hopefully it'll work. I don't really like it, but I'm going to use it. And what else did I do? I painted these. Painted them on the inside using tester's paint. So I taped the outside of them and painted them. And that makes the paint on the inside, since it's clear plastic, it won't scratch off. Um, and that's it. That is the T45 modification. What's up? One more thing I need to tell everybody about out there that's building this plane that's very important, I think, and I'm glad I discovered it, is that the stock control linkage that this model comes with is garbage. Throw it in the garbage right now, if you have it. Just throw it in the garbage. Reason is it's made out of extremely brittle plastic. I mean, it's like a Ritz cracker. So, I think it's designed that way to fail on purpose. And if it fails, you crash the plane, you gotta buy more, you know. So, <laughs> replace this. Don't use the one it came with. Use anything in this world but what it came with. Do not use what it came with. Very important. Okay, I just wanted to bring up everybody. Show you I'm finished with this. And I'll show you what I've done. So, far as detail, goes. I used a red Sharpie marker to do this, taped it off with blue tape, and uh, you know, I painted the canopy with tape. So let's get to the good stuff, this landing gear, which was such a pain and it wasn't that bad really. It was tedious. So it's made of balsa wood and I made it just like a you know, if a uh regular plane that you would buy 70 millimeter style front nose gear door so it's pretty much the same thing 
We just finagled it in there. Got it all in, it works good. I ran it and connected it with a Y harness to the tail hook thing, so when I open the door, the tail hook opens at the same time. And what else? That's it. Oh yeah, I slanted the tail fins <laughs> like such, so they're more scale. And I did that by making little wedges and gussets, and I put them, I glued them in underneath there, so they're at that angle, and that's all I did. And that's about it. So that's it. It looks pretty cool.